Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of uh, Chemistry. Okay, so I'm going to look at chemistry. And of course, today we'll continue our, our study on chemical energetics. We're going to look at the heat of reactions. That is heat of combustion. All right, so I want to take questions from the O3 school jump up once we are done. Let me show you one of the questions, okay, from the application. Uh, this is a... Uh, a twenty, a twenty, a two thousand question. Yeah, two thousand number twenty eight question. Okay, uh, we're giving here that zero point four six gram of ethanol when burned raise the temperature of fifty gram of water by one fourteen point three Kelvin. Calculate the heat of combustion of ethanol. Right, we're giving uh, the C twelve. We're giving specific capacity of water also to be four point two. How do you solve this kind of question? This has this borders solely on what heat of combustion. We are done with heat of neutralization in the last episode. This one is heat of combustion. So, of course, we are going to come back to this question after we are done with everything. Okay? We are going to take some questions, some generic questions to make you understand. Then we'll take questions from this application. So, you need this application. It has all the past. It's a, it's a jam CBT app. And your exam is a jam CBT exam. It will be playing. Okay? So, please stop playing. Download the application immediately. It has all the past questions for all the subjects. Okay, all of them, all right, and it goes for just three thousand naira. Instead of you to go and buy past question, uh, four past question for one thousand five hundred naira, the paper one, you're buying one one five one one five. You buy, you will pay six thousand naira to get them. Everything is inside this app for just three thousand naira. Then there are lecture notes on the app also in the classroom feature. There's question search feature. You can search for questions according to topics, and then everything will be rearranged for you. The question that that topic will come up for you to answer. UTME challenge, mock challenge that will participate every Saturday is inside the app also. Every Saturday you participate in the mock challenge. Okay? You'll see your score, your result being released just like normal jam. you see you get used to jam pass questions. A lot is on this app. So please, I do not want to talk too much about the app. So please go and download it. As I'm talking to you now, activation is just 3,000 naira. It's going to increase. It is definitely going to increase. So please, get the app, pass your exam at once and stop playing. We'll go back to that question and many more when we are done with what discussing heat of combustion. Now, heat of combustion. Well, how do you define heat, com heat, of, heat of combustion? We say heat of combustion is the amount of heat evolved. Is the amount of heat evolved when one mole of a substance is completely burnt in oxygen. Okay? It's completely burnt in what? In hair. All right? So we say, well, that's what heat of combustion of combustion is the amount of heat evolved evolved when one mole of a substance is completely burnt in hair or what oxygen okay so it's as simple what as that all right, we say that what that what that heat of combustion is the amount of what heat evolved when one mole of a substance is completely what burnt in hair or what in what in oxygen. That's what the heat of combustion. Okay, it is presented as what as delta what H what C. Okay, that is heat of combustion. Heat of combustion. But when it is measured under standard conditions, when it is measured under standard conditions, so that's what standard temperature. That is te a room temperature two hundred and eight. The uh, 298 Kelvin or 25 degrees Celsius, right? Or one mole per dm cube, right? For for solutions involving what uh, aqueous solutions, then of course for uh, temp uh, pressure of what 760 millimeter mercury or 180 m or 1.01 and 10 to the power minus 5 newton meter square. Okay, that is what for reactions involving what gases. Then we say that what we do not call it what heat of combustion again. We call it standard heat of combustion. We now say it is what standard heat of combustion. If you have not started watching our episode from the beginning, you will not understand what I just said now. But I'm not going to go over it again because I've done my bits. I've what, talked about it a lot. All right, so please, standard heat of combustion. And we do not represent it at data AC again. We represent it at data what, HC not. All right, so that is that. For that so now for solving for calculating questions or for solving questions on that heat of combustion is almost the same process as what well for that of what heat of neutralization. The only thing we need to take note here is that what here we are concerned about what the quantity of what heat or the quantity of what the amount of heat required to what to burn what one mole of the substance in question. 
to burn one mole of the substance in question. If you can understand that part, the amount of it required or the quantity of it required to burn completely one mole of the substance in question, if you understand that, we have understood the heat of combustion. Very simple. I'm going to take an example now. All right, I'm going to clean the board and then drop the question on the board so that what we'll be able to what answer it together. Okay, let me make this part very fast. All right, guys, you are welcome back. All right, so before I continue, if you have not liked this video, what you are doing is very wrong. If you have not liked this video, what you are doing is very bad. As you are watching the video now, don't click on that like button, please. Now, now you shouldn't be back for this. All right, please like the video. Some of you don't will drop comments, don't watch video, you just go. I appreciate those of you who are saying, well, we are dropping nice comments. Please, I appreciate it. Please drop comments, like the video, subscribe to the channel, share what the videos to your friends. If you are not sharing, that's even wicked. They are very wicked. I'm sure you have friends that are writing exam. All right, so please share this video. Share, talk about this channel to people. Tell people about this channel. They should, they should come and learn for free. All right. We are enjoying ourselves here. Let them to also enjoy now. Oh, I beg, I beg. Let's go, let's go. All right. So this is what uh, a question on what of on what on heat of combustion. They said four point four gram of propane liberated two hundred and ninety joule of heat. So what we need to know here is that what is a four point four what gram liberated what two hundred and ninety joule. They say what is the heat of combustion of propane or propane, and I told you that the key to answering questions on heat of combustion is to just know in your head that what you are concerned about here is the amount of heat required to burn completely one mole of the substance in question. One mole of the substance in question. Now, now the substance in question in this question, the, the substance in what in question here in this uh, question we are giving is what is propane. Okay, now four point four gram of propane. Liberated 290 joule. We are looking for the heat of combustion of what of propane. Okay, so one mole. Our question now be what one mole. Now the heat of what combustion of what of one mole of C3 H8. We give you what uh, X. This uh, this this we have, we have finished solving the question. <laughs> Once you can know this, we have finished solving the question because we are concerned with one mole of what of propane. One mole of what of the substance. Okay, and one mole of the substance contains what this C3. H8, all right? C is what? Carbon is what? C is 12. H is what? It's 1, okay? So, C3 will be what? 3 times what? 12. Then plus what? 1 times what? 8. 3 times 12 plus what? 1, eight, one times 8 is what? It's 8. So, I want to have what? Uh, 36 plus 8, which gives what? 44 gram per mole. All right? That means that what? Uh, the molar mass of what? Of propane is what? 44 gram per mole. All right? That means that what? One mole this means that what? One mole contains how many grams? 44 grams. Okay, one mole contains 44 grams. Or the molar mass of propane is 44 grams per mole. This is how you should see it. This is how you interpret this. The molar mass is 44 grams per mole, but that means that what? One mole contains what? 44 grams. That means now, 44 grams, instead of this one now, can put 44 grams, we give us what now? X. So it is now this and this. This and this. So let me just take this one off. Get so that we now have what here now that we already know that it's 44 gram that there is one mole. 44 gram will give you what x. So what do you do? You cross multiply. Once you cross multiply, this will go here. This will go here. All right. So now that we're going to have x times what 4.4 is equals to 44 times what 290. Okay. So divide both sides by what 4.4 so that x is what 44. Times 290 divided by what? 4.4. Please, no do I too know. Press your calculator. Yes? Press your calculator. No do say I too sabi you. I too sabi the kid. Please. Uh, don't, don't go and fail a simple question because you want to do that. You are fast and your brain is hot. Okay, so 44 times 290 is equal to um, 12760 then divided by what now? 4.4. Then you are going to have 2000. 900 joule or 2.9 kilojoule per watt per mole. Okay, because you no, know, it's one mole. Yeah, one mole, one mole. That that is what that is the same thing as what as what 44 grams. It's one mole. There's what 44 grams in one mole of what propane. So that's our unit here. Is what is kilojoule per mole, and this is the unit for what for heat of combustion. So that is the first question. Now I'm going to put another question on the board. We'll solve it, and then I'm going to make it very fast. All right, let's see the question now. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back again. So here now we have what a question before us. I'm looking for the heat of combustion also. But what do we know? Six gram of ethanol was burnt. Okay, the heat evolved, raised the temperature of 200 gram of water by three degrees Celsius. So here that means we need to work calculate what quantity of heat 
Okay, for this what uh, mass of ethanol that was burned. Okay, very simple. So now that means what to simply do here. Um, of course, you know that quantity of it is what mc delta or theta. Okay, mass is what two hundred gram, two hundred times what now? Uh, specific capacity is what four point what two. Then times what? What is change in temperature? From zero to three degrees Celsius, it increased. So it's what is three. All right, three minus zero is what same thing as three. So what to do here? F press your calculator. Press some. Press some where? So we're going to have two hundred times four point two times three to give us two five two zero. This is what two five two zero what joules. Okay, this is what we have now. That means that what this six gram is what yielded what this quantity of heat. All right, six gram yielded what two five two zero joules. Okay, now one mole of what ethanol. Ethanol. The formula of ethanol is what C two H five O H. Okay, that means what C two H six H six O. We'll do organic chemistry. Don't worry. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to complete the jam slab, but I don't know that it will finish in your time. But definitely, all will be completed. I do not want to rush it so that I do not jump some important things, right? So, but anything you have had so far is very, very sufficient for you to overpass your exam. I'm very sure of that if you can watch all our episodes from the beginning to now, you will pass your exam without any stress. So now, C two H six what O? Okay. So that means now let's look for the of the molar mass. Uh, carbon is twelve. Okay. So twelve times what two plus 6 times 1, then plus O is 16, all right? This is 24, plus 6 times 1 is 6, plus what, 16. This will give you 46 gram per mole. That means what, there's what, there's what, 46 gram in one mole. So one mole, which is called what, 46 gram now, will give you what now, X. That's what we're looking for. We're consigning what the quantity of heat required or to burn completely one mole of the substance in question, which is ethanol. Okay, so if you cross multiply, uh, 6 times what? X will be equal to what now? 46 times 2520. Okay, so that 6X will be equal to uh, 46 times what? 250. Let me just say X directly, I mean, because of time. So divided by what? By 6. Then find our value. Press your calculator. No, do say you too sabio. Don't, don't do that you too sabio. Okay, don't do it all. Hmm. So now I'm going to have 46 times or so 252. Uh, you see me now. You see me now. You see, you see me move me. I've removed the, the two now. I put 250. So you have to be very careful also when you're solving. Okay, it's 2520. So let's do that. 2520 is equals to then divided by what? Six. That gives us what? 19320 joule. Okay, we sent us what? 19.32. Kilojoule per mole is per mole per mole. Okay, so that will be our final word value. All right, so please, uh, each of question, combustion question are very, very easy. Now, let's go to the app and take uh, one question from the uh, Otero Schools Jam app to show you that Jam said this question so that you do not go and <laughs> don't go and play. Don't, don't stop playing. Let's take a question from the app now. Okay, that will be the third question we are solving on the of combustion. Third question. Number three, number three, let's take the app. So the app is all you need. There are past questions, everything is on the app. Okay, so just go and practice and what and so. See, that question we we're trying to attempt before at the beginning, year 2000, number 28. We're giving 0 0.46, it's been displayed on the screen, so I'm not going to write it on the board. So 0 0.46 gram of ethanol when born to raise the temperature of 50 gram. Of, so I'm going to solve it like jump exam. We know mass. Mass is what? 0 0.4. 46 gram. Okay. Then they say when born, raise the temperature. We're looking for what? Quantity of it. Quantity of it is what? MC or delta or theta. Okay. Our mass is what? From the question there, what's our mass now? 50 gram. Talk. You people should be talking now. <laughs> I wish I was teaching a live class. Yeah. Man, this is stressful. Please drop comment now. Just say thank you, sir. At least. At least, all right. So I say thank you, sir. Now, so uh, raise temperature. We know the mass fifty gram. Fifty times what is specific heat capacity four point two. Then times what? Change the temperature is what fourteen point what three. Okay, it's Kevin. All right. So it's simple. It's as simple as that. So just what multiply. What's our where's our calculator? Carry our calculator. Press it. So I'm going to have fifty times four point two times. 14.3, which give us 3,003. That is 3,003 
joules. Okay, that's the quantity of heat. Okay, for what? For that 0 0.46 watt gram. Now, 0 0.46, you get what? 3003 watt joules. Okay, now, one mole of what? Ethanol, which is what? One mole, which is equal to what now? 46 watt gram. We have in the in the last question, we, we calculated the what? The molar mass of our ethanol to be what? 46, uh, 46 gram. Okay, so it's just simply what? Uh, 46 gram. So equate to what? To x. So now just cross multiply as usual. 0 0.46x will be equal to what? 46 times 3003 joule. All right, so if you divide both sides by 0 0.46 by 0 0.46, our x. Because to press your calculator again, press sum. Press sum to save you time and it will give you accuracy for the six times. Some of you know who's a press calculator. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. Please learn how to press calculator. Please. Some of you want to, want to choke me because I'm saying the truth. Don't choke me. So for the six times uh, 3003. Sorry, 46 times 3003, then divided by 0 0.46. That will give us what? 300,300. That's what? 300,300 watt joule. Uh, That's exactly the same thing as what? 3 watt. Okay, it's in joule. Let us see the, the answers. The answer was given what? In, in kilojoule. So I have what? 300 kilojoule. 300.3 .3 kilojoule per mole. You know it's per mole. That is the unit to joule per mole. Or kilojoule per mole. Okay, so I'm giving 300 uh, kilojoule per mole. We are giving uh, the option A is for 3,000 kilojoule per mole. Obviously, not the answer because in joule is 300,300. So in kilojoule is 300.3. Okay, B they said plus 300 kilojoule uh, per mole. Right? Then of course uh, um, C they said 300 kilojoule per mole. Then D we are giving what? Uh, uh, 3,000 kilojoule per mole, all right? So our correct answer there will, will, be, will be option C, okay? So uh, our answer there is what is 300 or uh, 0.3 kilojoule per mole. But here, you can see in the, in the, in the options, in the options here, they are giving what? Uh, signs. The first one is plus 3,000. B is plus 300. C is minus 300. D is minus 3,000, okay? So what would be our correct answer there? Is it going to be B? We know the answer is 300 now, 300 kilojoule per mole. But is it going to be B or C? Is it plus or minus? Okay. And of course, we say heat combustion, heat or combustion is what? Is the amount of heat involved, amount of heat liberated, right? When one mole of a substance is completely burnt in here. Okay. And in what type of, uh, is it endothermic or exothermic that heat is liberated? So heat is what? It's absorbed in endothermic, it's liberated in exothermic. And energy chain for what? For for exothermic reaction is what is negative, so I'm going to minus 300.3 watt kilojoule per mole. That is option what option C. Please take note of that. Please take note of that. Now they are testing you there now in the exothermic and endothermic, and they never talk about it in the question. So who know mumu go fail now? Where go fail now? So please don't fail it. Don't fail the kind of simple questions. Then let's go to the last question before we end this class. They say which unit 2003 number 2023 number 20. Which unit is commonly used to express the heat of combustion? Okay, you said that was joule per mole or kilojoule per what? Per mole. We have seen that. Okay, uh, that's what option A. Okay, option A is very correct. B is Kelvin. No, uh, C is gram per liter. D is meters per second. A is joules per what mole? Which is what? Joules per mole or kilojoules per mole. That's option A. Okay, so please download the applications. Solve question. You will not be good if you do not answer a lot of questions, start answering questions, you'll see yourself doing well. All right, I'll see you in the next class. Thank you for watching.